In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to send DHT11 sensor data from an Arduino Uno to the Tangle using mask authenticated messaging. In tutorial 28, I have used the Raspberry Pi, but in this tutorial, I will be using an Arduino Uno. A complete step-by-step -step guide how to send DHT11 sensor data from an Arduino Uno to the Tangle using mask authenticated messaging can be found at this location. The source code used in the guide can be found at this location. These are the four JavaScript files which I will be using in this video. This guide explains in detail how to install the Arduino IDE on your computer, how to connect the DHT11 sensor module to the Arduino Uno, how to download the DHT11 Arduino Uno project on your computer, how to add the DHT library to your Arduino IDE, and how to upload the DHT11.ino sketch to your Arduino Uno. The last few steps of this guide will be demonstrated in this video. After you have done all these steps, you will end up with an Arduino Uno with a DHT11 sensor module attached. The DHT.ino sketch is already uploaded to this Arduino Uno. The Arduino Uno is powered by this cable. But this cable is also used to transfer data from your computer to the Arduino Uno and vice versa. So let's start a demonstration. I have connected the Arduino Uno to my computer using the data cable. Start the Arduino IDE. As mentioned earlier, I have already uploaded this sketch to the Arduino Uno. Now let's see its output. Select tools. Make sure you have selected this board and also make sure you have selected the correct port. In my case, I have selected this port. Now select Serial Monitor and make sure you have selected 9600 baud. Every 30 seconds, the temperature and humidity data will be displayed in this monitor. The 30 seconds is set by this line. Close the monitor. Open a terminal and go to the downloaded project, this project. Execute this JavaScript file. Enter node listports.js. In my case, there are two ports, but this is the port my computer is communicating with the Arduino Uno. Copy this port. We need to edit the sensor.js file and the mem underscore sensor.js file. So these are the two files. Let's first modify the sensor.js file, search for the port name, and replace it with the one we have copied. Do the same for the mem underscore sensor.js file. Replace this port name with the copied one. Let's run this JavaScript file. As you can see, sensor data is read from the Arduino Uno and displayed on this screen. Stop this script, press Ctrl Z, and also kill the process. Now I will demonstrate how this sensor data is published to the Tangle using mass authenticated messaging. Type node mem underscore sensor.js. As you can see, sensor data is now published to the Tangle. I have opened another window. 
I will now demonstrate how to extract stored data from the Tango. Enter node mem underscore receive.js and paste a root. Let's copy this root. Paste this root. As you can see, data is retrieved from the Tangle. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.